Hi, my name is Greg with Otis Technology. Today we're gonna to be discussing maintenance on your everyday carry firearms. Some of the things that come into play when you're wearing a firearm on you is your body sweats, it perspirates, it can wreak havoc on the finishes, um, clothing, lint, salt, sand, debris inside the actions can limit a, the striker fire on the pistol or possibly your slides. So we're gonna check these things out. It's important every night to do a basic search through your firearm, a basic clean, to make sure there's no obstructions in the barrel or any type of dirt and debris inside the action, your magazines, changing out your bullets, things like that. Before we get into the maintenance, I'm gonna discuss some of the tools that we use to maintain our firearms. Um, I always like to have a firearm rag. This is for wiping off your residue on the, the barrels, on the slides, on the outside of the firearm, on the inside. A basic rag. A simple pull-through cleaning cord. This makes a real quick clean for those every day from the range, coming home from work, pulling your firearm out, making sure the barrel is clean. A simple toothbrush. This will help clean the inside, the outside of the firearm, comes in very handy a weapon lubricant, pre-treated weapon cloth. This works great for the outside of the firearm when you're done, makes it look nice, and it preserves it. A lubricating oil, treating the slides, your different friction points, um, the different parts in that firearm. And then a bore cleaner. Put this on your patch, pull it through. It makes the cleaning process of that barrel a lot easier as it pre-loosens all the material. And then a simple cleaning kit. Um, this is ours from Otis, it's a breach to muzzle system. These are just some of the tools you can utilize to clean your firearms. Um, this is what I recommend, um, but it's important that these firearms be maintained every day that you use them. And now to get into the more detailed part of the cleaning, first we wanna make sure that the firearm is clear and safe. So if the magazine is in the firearm, remove the magazine, make sure that the action is clear. Um, I'm gonna visually inspect, I'm also gonna stick my finger in, the firearm is clear, we are safe. Let's continue. So refer to your owner's manual on your specific model of pistol for breaking it down, but I want to separate the slide from the frame. So I'm going to separate this. I'm going to set my frame away for now. We're going to remove our guide rod spring, set that to the side. We're also going to remove our barrel. We can set that to the side. Now we have our slide here. What we're trying to visualize is, is there any contaminants inside of it? Um, this is where I use my AP brush. Um, I, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take that down. I'll clean the inside of the slide out. Um, I'll look for any foreign debris, um, built up carbon. You'll get specks from the brass um, that will build up in there. I just wanna make sure that that's completely clean. There's more maintenance that you can do with tools on these, but again, I recommend you refer to your owner's manual. For today's presentation, I'm gonna stick with um, general maintenance on the slide, looking for debris and that kind of thing. What you'll see on this firearm, um, if you zoom in here, you'll, you'll see that there's marks on the inside of this. Those are friction points where you have metal on metal contact. I recommend that you add lubrication to those pieces um, to make your firearm operate more flawlessly. Um, I like a grease on everyday carry because it doesn't migrate. And what I mean by migrate is oil typically will run. Um, if you're gonna be carrying this with your new business suit, you don't want oil and stuff ruining your clothes. So I will use a little bit of grease, stick them on those friction points, um, and then whether you use the brush to wipe it in, your finger, a cotton swab, anything like that, just to get that oil in there. You don't need a lot of it. Um, I'll also add some to my slide. So right here, where my slide runs on my frame, those are friction points as well. So I'll add a little bit of grease into those slide pieces. You don't need a whole lot. Um, just a little bit down there. Now I'm gonna set this to the side. Now I'm gonna take a look at my barrel. So on the barrel, we're gonna clean the inside of it. Um, what I use is the pull-through system from Otis. Um, this is a quick, simple uh, tool to clean the barrel. Um, I'm gonna tie my patch. If you need more information on how to tie the patch, please look at our suggested video or visit Otis Technologies YouTube channel. So I'm gonna tie my patch. Now I'm gonna use our bore cleaner on this. Um, this will help loosen up any of the fouling, the copper deposits, um, lead, that kind of stuff. It'll help pull it out of the barrel. So again, I'm cleaning breech to muzzle. Breech to muzzle, the breech end, the muzzle end. 
So I'm cleaning breech to muzzle the natural way. So I'm gonna let that soak now for a minute. Um, I'm gonna remove my patch and I'm gonna use a brush. The brush will help me break up any of the product in the barrel that the chemical is working on. So I'm gonna apply my brush. Now I'm gonna stick that in again, breach to muzzle. So I'm gonna pull that brush through, that will break up any of that residual foul, fouling. I'm gonna remove my brush. I'm gonna use my tip again. And then I'm gonna grab a dry patch. So the dry patch is gonna mop out what the brush and the wet patch just helped break down. See on this patch, all the debris that that's pulling out. So it looks like I'm probably getting some carbon, some copper um, from that bore. So we know the barrel is clean now. You can repeat this process as many times as you need to, to make sure if, until you're not getting any more color on your patch. The other part in the barrel that I like to look at is the feed ramp. So this is the feed ramp right here. Your bullet comes out of the magazine and then the action drives it into the chamber. Once in a while, these can get pretty gunked up with carbon. Um, some of your uh, uh, hollow points and stuff, they can get caught on that lip, it can cause a malfunction. Nine out of 10 times, it's probably not gonna happen, but being an everyday carry gun, I like to make sure that everything is clean. So on this, you can use a little bit of bore cleaner to help break it up if you have a lot of excess of buildup. Um, and then a simple brush. Um, I'd like to just scrape at that a little bit, um, make sure that it's clean, use your old patch, wipe it down. It should almost come off with a mere finish when you're done. That way that I know it's clean. Before I reassemble it, I like to use a little bit of, our, of an oil. Um, you don't need a whole lot. You can wipe that in with your finger, again, a towel, a pad. And then I like to just clean off the excess so I don't have dripping oil. This also is gonna preserve the barrel for um, any type of environmental contaminants. All right, so now I got my barrel clean. I'm gonna slide that back into my slide. I'm gonna reapply uh, my spring. Now I'm going to put my pistol back together. Again, refer to your owner's manual if you have any questions. Now I'm also gonna do a function check to make sure my firearm works. So I'm gonna run the slide a few times, pull the trigger, make sure everything's working properly. Everything's good. Carrying concealed should be comfortable. Um, people carry concealed different ways. Um, bodies are shaped differently. You know, what works for me doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for my wife. My wife likes to carry in her purse or on her body. Um, I can't carry appendix in my vehicle because my gut gets in the way. Um, carrying behind me in a vehicle, my back gets in the way, it's uncomfortable against the seat. So trying to find something that's comfortable for you. I recommend before you go out and purchase a holster, go to a local firearm shop, try the holsters they have, see what works for you so you can carry comfortably. Um, at the end of the day, everyday carry is important, but it needs to be comfortable and your firearm needs to operate properly when you're using it. The one final point I'd like to make today is that your firearm is like a tool, um, kind of like your automobile. There's regular maintenance that needs to be done, changing the, the tires, um, checking your tire pressures, changing your oil. Um, a firearm is no different. The steps and procedures that I showed you today should give you the confidence that you can take care of your firearm. So at the end of the day, the firearm can take care of you if you need it. If you enjoyed this video today, please like and comment below. And if you wanna see more content like this, please go to the Otis YouTube channel.